The punters at King's Home were treated to a classic Aviva Premiership battle as reigning champions Harlequins visited the fortress in Gloucester that has only seen a couple of losses this season. Conor O'Shea had rung the changes with skipper Chris Robshaw and a number of others receiving a well-earned rest. And it was one of the changes, Rob Buchanan, who opened the scoring for the visitors, the hooker barreling over after seven minutes. Nick Evans missed the conversion and Gloucester hit back hard. Twice the Cherry and Whites were denied from decent try-scoring positions and all they could muster was a Freddie Burns penalty on 20 minutes. Queens responded straight away. Evans with a delightful chip down the centre to give Sam Smith the simplest of run-ins. The Kiwi had no problem slotting the conversion this time to give the champions a 12-3 lead. Gloucester kept up the pressure but it was Quinns who went closest just before half-time. Ross Chisholm coming up just short and 12-3 it stayed at the interval. The host finally got over the whitewash just after the break. Charlie Sharple breaking for Johnny May to complete a wonderful score, his fifth try of the season. Burns converted for a 12-10 deficit, but Evans extended the visiting lead to five on 54 minutes after a Gloucester infringement. But when Joe Gray was simbined on 67 minutes, Gloucester took full advantage, with Sione Kalamafoni punching a hole and Akapusi and Guerra stretching to score and level the match. Burns converted for a 17-15 lead with 10 minutes to go, but despite throwing the kitchen sink and more at Gloucester in the final stages, the champions came up short, and the hosts moved level on points with Saints. Final score at King's home, Gloucester 17, Harlequins 15.